Hi, it's Stephanie. Uh, here you're looking at an interaction that I built in Storyline and this is just a rollover uh, find the issues in the office interaction and let me just show you quickly how it works. You just basically roll over when you find a question mark you click and it gives you some information about that uh, issue and uh, so on. You just go through the office and you find them. There's a counter that tells you how many that you found and if you can't if you can't figure out where they all are there's a hint button that that shows you with warning symbols where the issues are so that's the nature of the interaction something very easy uh, like this is very easy to build in storyline but it adds quite a level of interactivity to your presenter courses uh, and that's what this screener is about is just to talk about in this scenario I have a client who has presenter and they're planning to buy storyline but they don't have it quite yet so, um, but they do want this level of interactivity. So I've created the interactivity within Storyline and have brought it into Presenter because that's where the course content is, that's what they've been working on, and uh, they don't want to switch the entire course over to Storyline quite yet. But we can punch up the functionality by doing discrete pieces in Storyline and bringing those into Presenter. So that's what I want to show you. So I'm just gonna close out a preview and here's my uh, Storyline project file. So once I create the interaction, then I just publish it in Storyline like you normally would. And when you do that, you have a published output folder. And one file in the folder is story.html. That's the starting file. And for this to work properly, you need to rename that starting file from story to index. And the reason being is because for all the functionality to work in Presenter, it needs to be brought in as a web object. You may be tempted just to grab that SWF file and bring it in as a flash object, but none of the functionality will work. And that's because there's a difference between the versions of ActionScript that Presenter and Storyline are using. So to get full functionality, you need to bring it in, your interactions in as uh, a web object in Presenter. So you just rename that one file and then pop over to Presenter. Here's the slide where I want this interaction to appear. I just choose web object and then I go ahead and I copy and paste in the location to where the storyline output is. So this is the folder location and because I named it index.html our articulate uh, presenter is going to automatically find that file for me. I'm going to display it in the slide and keep these defaults as they are and then I get the placeholder for the web object. So what I also did over in Storyline is I also made sure that the size of the project is 720 by 540, which also matches the size of your presenter projects. And in Presenter, I hid the sidebar from view on this slide so that you have the sidebar on the previous and, and, and post, you know, next and previous. But right on this slide, I just wanted to have a nice clear space for people to really focus in on that um, office environment. So that's all I did. I saved it, I published it, and here's the published output. I'll just have it start here. There's a character that comes up on the screen talking about what you need to do. Basically the instruction is you need to click on the next file folder, and uh, when you do that, you're taken to the slide that has the interaction. So you can see how nice and clean this is. The interaction comes in seamlessly uh, into uh, Presenter, and it works seamlessly works exactly the way you would expect it to work. So all the, the question marks are here. I'm finding all the issues. The counter is working as I find the issues. And if I need a hint, the hint button works as well. So when I find all the issues, I'll get a completed screen and then I can click the next button and proceed with the module and just continue going through the module. So I think it's kind of a neat neat kind of transition method for clients who, who aren't prepared to move all of their courses over into Storyline right away. It's time consuming to do that as well, but do want to punch up a bit of the interactivities. And if you have both tools as a developer, you can easily do that. So hopefully you found that helpful. Thanks.